I do what I do today as a hardcore vegan for the love of the animals. I know that no animal has to die for me to live. If we are going to survive as a species, we have to understand that our job is not to do everything. Our job is to do everything that we can do. And I charge you today with a very simple, straightforward charge. All you have to do is what you can do. Go veg. Go green. Save the planet. Thank you very much. It's certainly been most informative and educational, and as you can imagine, some of the members in our audience right now have a few questions. Mr. Lyman, you have uh, taken my breath away. Thank you for your love for coming here today to be with us. My name is Betska Kaber. I am co-president of Coaching and Leadership International. We are the global leaders in mind, body, spirit, coach training, and I'm also the president of ecofoodprint.com. I have a very important question for you, and that is, should we put the carbon tax on meat? Woo! And if yes, how do we do that? The first question is, should we put a carbon tax on meat? The answer to that is yes. How do we do that? Remember, I spent five years working on Capitol Hill. I learned a thing that was called the golden rule. Them that got the gold are making the rules. <laughs> the question is, how are we going to do it? It's simple. If you can take a fourth generation farmer, rancher, feedlot operator, and I can change and become a hardcore vegan, does that mean that the people that care about the environment can't? 79% of Americans claim to be vegetarian. If you're actually going to claim to be a vegetarian, how about walking your talk? If we are going to change this, it is not going to happen in Washington, D.C. It's going to happen right here. Look at what has happened in West Hollywood what they have been able to do in this community. We need to go in our own communities. We have to organize. We have to look at what's not available. And if it's not available, we need to start it. If there are changes that need to happen, we need to be the people that start the change. Our job is to become the leader so that when we look in the eyes of a child, we can basically say to them, I can't do everything, but I can do everything that I can do. And if we don't, there will not be a future for our children and grandchildren. Can we do it? Absolutely. When should we start? Right now. It was a pleasure having you with us today. Part three of this rebroadcast of the live Climate Change International Conference with special guest Supreme Master Ching Hai will air on Wednesday, so please tune in. Up next is a journey through aesthetic realms right after noteworthy news here on Supreme Master Television. May you have a blissful life under God's grace.